Hey guys, today I wanted to show you how to use Fusion 360 to help you draw some two-point perspective um, projects really quickly um, and actually do some rendering, like photorealistic rendering. So what I have here today, I've just got a, a simple two-point perspective drawing that you guys might have actually done at some point. And so what I want to show you is how we can actually render that in Fusion 360 very quickly. Okay, so I'll just minimize that off the screen um, and we'll go from there. So what we want to do, we'll just create a new sketch and I'm going to select the face I'm going to draw it on. And once I've got, I'll just draw a something that's similar to like what a house would look like or a building. Finish that sketch. I'm going to hit extrude and we can extrude out a distance, let's say about there. Okay, now what I'm doing, because I'm doing quick sketching and quick development, like I'm only going to use one part and we're not really using dimensions on this. The idea is to quickly generate some renderings out using Fusion 360. So again, what we'll do, click on another surface here and I'm just going to draw like an overhang here, something like that. Finish that extrude in both directions. So I'll click on that surface and that surface, and I'll click over here and we'll go two sides. So I can actually extrude a little bit that way, and we'll extrude a little bit that way, and we'll make it as a join. So just click on join, and OK. So now we have a bit of a balcony as such. Next thing, I'll just draw another sketch on this surface here, and I'm going to draw in some windows and doors so I can quickly draw a you now I'm just making this really quick we can actually measure distances between each one to make them about the right size so if I zoom in a little bit um, we can just sort of get roughly some idea of so we can make them about 24 each I suppose might be about right and then we'll do these gaps in between here. Let's make them three millimeters. Okay, and that's okay. So I'll just finish that. And we'll just drag this across a little bit. So we've got something like that. Okay, finish that sketch. And what I can now then do is I'm going to extrude back these little surfaces here by holding in the shift button. And I can drag back. So minus two millimeters. So you have something like that there. I'll draw another face on here. And let's draw a box around that. We could actually also use this offset tool. If we, this one here. So we can actually use that. So if I undo that and select the surface there and drag it in. And just go minus five, enter, finish that sketch, and we'll extrude that one in a little bit further this time. And we can actually select a surface to extrude to, which is I just click down here, so the surface there. Okay, and we're starting to take shape with our new building here. I can then put other features on. So what I might do before that is quickly show you the next step. Uh, we can actually change the appearance of certain things, which is good. So we can actually go down into, say, glass, and we might just do some smooth glass. We might just pick some bronze color, but we'll just do the faces, and I'm just going to select which ones we want to color. And we'll do also the concrete of the outside. Just going to download that. Took a few seconds. And I might change all the components, whole, whole component for that. I'm going to keep the surface of the other faces I've already done. So now we can start to see what's looking like from the outside. Now, Minimize that bit there. And what we can do, let's just go into render. 
and we might start to render that now and we start to get our impression of what we want to do in setup you can click on setup environment library and we should actually will pick on environment because you want to pick an environment and we go down into say field or dry lake bed we'll download that and we'll actually put the environment on to our project okay and then we can then arrange our building by dragging it left and right to something that you would like okay and what we can do we can also change our the size by the focal length make it a little bit bigger we can go into depth of field and set a depth of field on the corner of that building and make it a bit, little bit blurry and 40 mil okay that's looking pretty good Bring it up a bit okay now once we've done that we can actually go into render and it brings up our render settings okay i need to save my design first just going to quickly save that I'll save that into my u10 and we do our render settings image size we we'll pick a size here i'll just use a local renderer exposure okay render that we'll let that render out and then once it's rendered out we can actually open up the image and i've changed the blur on that to be not what i actually wanted so i might re-render that setup and i'm just going to turn off the uh blur now and let's see how that goes one last render and we'll render that out and it looks much better with the blur tool i think we can probably dispense with that actually in terms of like long range i think the blur tool would be more for close up one last thing you can probably do is actually look at the position and just rotating around and using some of those these shadow effects out here and just changing some of those settings even further so let's just go to 20 maybe just move that position a little bit back further you know um, and just sort of working that out maybe 20 is a little bit too much a bit of a an idea of what it's going to look like just slightly adjusting those until you're getting the right look and feel that you want to get for your project so once we've got that i'm going to go back in and have another look at some of these settings here and i'll go back into render and this time i'm going to try like an advanced exposure and let's just try some of these white this widescreen and just try some of these settings out here and render that out and see how that looks i'm starting to get something that's looking really good i'll save that it's starting to look really photorealistic now so there you go